Okay, hello everybody, and it's another down by wizard again against lizard men. So basically, if I remove a saurus early, if I remove some saurus early, I've got a chance. If I don't, I've got no chance. He's got a one turning skink. He's got an agility four, one turning skink, kind of almost basically. He's got this. I don't even know what that um. I don't even know what that skill is. Grab. And break tackle tackle. Alright, frenzy, so he's got is that's a decent record actually about what I'm aiming for. And Yeah, he's got eleven players, so hopefully I can just receive, beat the fuck out of him, and um it'll be alright. Thank you for the host. <sighs> Oops. Ah, he's chosen to kick. Well, that's fair enough, but I mean, if I get men up, he's only got 11 players. If I get men up, he's in trouble. Um, so... I've got a hit and run with the claw. I don't mind so much um, these guys tagging these and stuff. I guess it's better to blitz the grab guy than the non-grab guy, isn't it? Ultimately. And I guess block from this. Oh no, I want I want the block on this side because he hasn't got block. Um, Nice ball. Oh, best Fagor. If anyone was going to catch the kick off, it's best Fagor, isn't it? I've actually got to re roll it if it's a ball down, which is horrific. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay, I'll go.
Oh my god. What a hammer blow. I guess I want to stay a little bit away from the break tackle guy. On, did I just get him? No, I didn't. He's the break tackle guy. He could go one, two, three. No, that seems good enough. Put him there just so it's a bit harder to get two dice on my um, warriors, I guess. Use a re-roll on a both down, it's bad, isn't it? But he didn't have a non-block guy that I could blitz, did he? I would have obviously blitzed like the weakest link, so I didn't have to re-roll it both down. Just getting removing players is better because then eventually they can't protect their good players then. So I like to just to just fucking go for it. Kale's not really good enough though, is it? I need Kaz. I don't need some Kaz. I need him to be nine, 10 on 9 players for the second half. Break tackle guy to hit. That's all right, isn't it? He's getting his getting his elf screen on, isn't he? Obviously, I'm not bothered about the tackle on this guy, but break tackle makes him a little bit more useful, doesn't it, than normally would be. Guess I'll have to go for the frenzy next. Put the strength guy in with him. I had to move him there just so that I wouldn't be tempted to foul. Yeah, well, exactly, Jam Toast. You know, when you've got Claw and Mighty Blow, it's just as easy to remove the Strength Fours, isn't it? And if you remove the Strength Fours, then it's, um, it's harder for him to protect his kings. That's the thing. This, this, they really, lizard men don't lose when they lose one or two skinks early. They lose when they lose one or two saurus early. And obviously, I've t got rid of two of his better saurus. The frenzy saurus is pretty good as well, so he's he's next on the list. And then when he's when he's brutally outstrengthed, then can just go all men's contact and dominate him. But um, until then, it's just pick pick off the saurus, isn't it? Or if he lets me three dice a skink, I'll three dice a skink. Yeah, he should he should be crapping himself, yeah. I 
I can actually chain him in from the block here, can't I? Oh, I could block him and then just three dice this guy. Oh, two dice him. Can't three dice him, can I? He could block him. Then he could block him. Then he could go one, two, three, four. And then could three dice him. So. It's a bit of work, though, isn't it? Fuck that. Just this guy at first, shouldn't I? Gorgeous reckoning. I could foul him with quite a lot, and I've only got a beastman left now, shit. I could have fouled him with plus four, I think. Wouldn't have been bad. Maybe I could have left him in contact. Could base him. But then it encourages him to blitz. I think stay where. And push forward soon. Really, Emperor Augustus. Wow. Oh, VIP sword of the morning. Well, he certainly he's certainly seen his um is Kanor Elf Screen video, hasn't he? Um Yeah, this team is a lot better with a block, yes, absolutely VIP jam tours. Oh god he's basing basing the claw guy. Uh, one draw, it's two draws is one win and a loss. It is Jam Toast. Um, what's he called? Voodoo Mike confirmed it for me. This this record is exactly, like nine wins, six draws is exactly the same as 12 wins and three losses. Exactly the same. Yeah, I, I asked. I asked Voodoo Mike because I was like, just to make sure, because I thought it was. I thought it was the same, and he confirmed that it was. Hello, Hessian. Guard in here, don't I? I need this to be a pal. 
and then get the guard in here and then can 2D him and 2D him and then use the blitz on a three for a three die on a skink. So this is the block. Turn him. That actually blocks off the, the root though, doesn't it? Fuck's sake. Fucking dirt. I can just put him in here. This actually works out alright as well. Claw is at broken AV every every single hit, hasn't it so far? Pretty good. Quite like to foul is frenzy guy who can just blitz my um, claw guy, which seems like a good, good idea for him, doesn't it? Plus two foul. I've got two reserves. I guess I have to. It's ne literally never worked for me on a death, ever. In in my history, all 25 years, I've never succeeded. Yeah, it's true, Hesse, and if you haven't got good cards, you can't really climb the ladder. The way, the way you do it is just by, yeah, just play arena for like a year, basically. Yeah, exactly. As Demaster says, the only way to catch up is by spending insane amounts of money, which is what I did. Well, not insane. Um, well, it's it's not my it's it's always been my gameplay, um, Demaster. Um, but it's just I haven't had the I haven't had the players to do it, you know, and stuff. Yeah, this is not going terribly abysmal. No, it's not. It's going all right. I've had the I've had the highest fouling human player of all time on Fumble. How is the um become a true Nurgle coach? If anyone on earth is a true Nurgle coach, it's me, Conflicts me. Highest black box bash rating of all time in on Fumble. Major winner. Averaging seven Kaz a game. But um It's just getting them to that point, isn't it? is the problem. Got a decent chance of failing one of these two dodges, hasn't he, if he goes for this? Wow, well, use the reroll for it. Interesting. Yeah, the way to do it is definitely play arena, I think. <laughs> So obviously we want to um, keep him based. That's a good idea. 
and I want to knock over this guy and then start basing the skinks. He can block him right now. And stay on him. Todd, broken armor every single time. With the, um, with the claw. Pretty lucky. Quite safe, can't he? I still got him too. Maybe I should double mark the um, crocs. But even then, it's easier to deal with the crocs if he does do something funky. Jesus! <laughs> yes, of course, I need piling on. Yeah, I, I maybe should have gone piling on first, um, to be honest, but still. Yes, for chores. Well, for the line, the linemen are actually hobgoblins. Um, but yes, for chaos dwarf blockers, you need a double. Hey, he's got to re-roll that. No, he fails. Get banged on. <laughs> Get banged on. And now, the the little skinkies are um are exposed, aren't they? Right, block him first. Scheiser man. Right, he can just 3D him. Okay, old. Shit that I can't three dice that other guy easily. Um, I guess I might just power him here. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. Bang on. And he might power him. All right, shall I move the ball? Move, make the ball safe first. As much as I want to make it safe, anyway. If this is a power, it's glorious, isn't it? No. Can re roll this, got three re rolls. Don't need to. Injury, good. Apple gone. See you later, mate. And there you go. See, so all these people who say hunt skinks, um, this is the method I prefer. You hunt the Saurus. <laughs> Obviously, you can't really choose to just break armor every single time against Saurus. But that is that is what screws them more than, than just hunting skinks. Plus, if you hunt skinks, you might not even hurt them. So, um, all these people who say, like, just get rid of the skinks, it's, it's not so easy, is it? Yeah, he needs another. He, I guess he can do a completion, maybe. Oh no, because it's his drive next. Works if you have claw and luck. No, just just anywhere, you know, like yeah, just claw or luck. But if you just if you just fight the Saurus and hit the Saurus with as much as you can, like 
basically a good player isn't going to expose his skinks. And if he does, it's in such a way as you have to give up a lot of position to hit them. So you've just got to play a normal game and try to fight the Saurus and hope that you hope that you get some lucky removals, basically. Yes, for elves, I guess. Elves can hunt skinks. And all they can do is dodge away from the swords. But even then, even a mighty blow elf can try to hit a try to hit a um Saurus. Oh man, banged on. Better base the ball. No way I can deal with that. TV down against dwarves. Disgusting. Where's my garda? Not oh, here. It's not ideal, is it? But one, two, three feet can get in there. Actually, I'm, I'm more likely to power No, 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 no. I'll go this way. Fuck's sake. Gotta get this foul in, haven't I? Well, I've still got time. <laughs> still got time. <laughs> Gotta get that foul in. Yeah, piling on Duran. 100% piling on next. I was gonna go tackle. I was gonna be play it safe, you know, to try and get but ultimately piling on is is really good, isn't it? Piling on can win you games that you would normally not win. And obviously lacking tackle can really hurt you, but um I think losing a game because you don't have tackle is less likely than not winning a game because you don't have piling on, if you know what I mean. Piling on turns turns some games that would be draws into wins. Quite a few draws that would be quite a few games that would be draws turn into wins if you've got piling on. Because you just get so many men up, they've got no chance. Um whereas you know, you don't lose that many games by not having tackle, I don't think. TBH.
so to the block 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 there or three die him three die him is better block him first and see what happens I'll follow to get more assists and then um Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 3D into a 3D is alright, isn't it? I've got block. God, almost don't want to score here, do I? With all these, all these removal, all these KOs. Holy shit! But obviously I have to. Best fuck all can plus AG. <laughs> no, definitely not extra arms, cornflakes and milk. <laughs> um, yeah, sure hands, sure hands are dodge, hopefully. Yeah, all but two will get up, and then those two will get up next time. Ah, at least, at least this one stayed out. Is one turn, big one turn threat, stayed out. Agility, and sidestep was bet, probably better than movement and sprint. So that was that was good. Um, got two reserves, so obviously these these three chumps can get hammered. Best fagors and mash fagors can be safe. Safe from rocks. What what's funny is I always play around the rock, the throne rock event, and loads of other people don't, and yet I always seem to get my best players killed by fucking rocks. Five. He's on five. I guess I don't really. No, I guess I could have a day player now, so I'll protect him. Extra arms make some agility for for pickups and passes, yeah, but it's shit, cornflakes and milk. It's absolute shit. Um, in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, because you're giving up a skill slot. That's the thing. You're giving up the skill slot. It's it's bad for its TV. But obviously if you have extra arms and two heads, it's the same TV as plus agility. Um, but it's the opportunity cost. That's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing that when I call skills bad, it's always the opportunity cost. Because obviously a player with extra arms is better than a guy without extra arms. And and you know, obviously a guy with fucking pass block even is better than if he didn't have pass block. But the thing is, he could have taken something other than pass block, or he could have taken something other than extra arms. That's the thing. And sure hands is just a hundred times better. Um so yeah, he'll take sure hands if he normals and um Dodge if he doubles and a stat if he stats. <laughs> I think if I double six it, I'll I'll take dodge. To be honest, he's going for the one turner still. So yeah, he's definitely got some idea. Be pissed if he scores the one turner. Not gonna lie. He could. It's not easy, but I've, 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 well, I've kind of made it easy for him, I guess.
But even then, Adji isn't isn't really better than Sure Hands, is it? Because if you get if you're facing a strip ball war dancer, you'd rather have Sure Hands. So even that isn't strictly um like I'd want agility and Sure Hands. Scores this. He's wasted a push though. Oh, he's got frenzy. He does have frenzy, but he's wasted a push already. Probably should have already gone for the handoff as well when he was in one tackle zone. And probably been the, his easiest play would have been picking up and hand it off first. Or maybe not though, because he could dodge in to give the assist. But then he's in two tackle zones, so... Wow. Lucky bastard. Lucky bastard. Why don't I ever have a look like this? Thank you for the follow, silly faff of bits. I don't know. Wow, get a, get a removal on the last one. And now he's not a tackle zone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. Yeah, so he, he did it right in the end. Yeah, shit. And that was a pretty good play. I didn't like his passive defence, to be honest. But he's done a pretty good. Um, he's done a pretty good one turn, and he's still got the reroll, hasn't he? I mean, the removal didn't really matter, did it? Because I've got the reserves. But um, it was funny that he got the power and the removal just when it needed, yeah. And then, but then he wanted nine the pick up, so. He was unlucky at the end, but I mean, he was lucky to get all the pushes that he needed, wasn't he? But then unlucky to one in nine, so... And he's very lucky to get all six KOs recover. Outrageous. Outrageous, but he's still down to ten. Which is... Which is something, isn't it? Strength the same side as the guard, or claw the same side as the guard? Claw the same side, I guess. That was a very good effort, yeah. Very good effort. Lizards are very solid, yeah, little nog. They're an amazing. Yeah, it was well executed, yeah, it was. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, statistically, they're the closest thing to OP you're going to get, basically, lizards at, th at low TV. At high TV, though, they, they lose they lose a bit because elves out-elf them and, and claw out-claws them, basically. Like, if I didn't have a claw guy, I would just be fucked this game. Um, but then with a claw guy, he was fucked that half. But I can still be fucked this half.
Do you let a VIP go go? Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, my guy gets fucked by by with rock. I told you, didn't I? I told you. I fucking play around the wizard, the rock is even as much as I can, and I always get fucked by it. Outrageous, out fucking rageous. Oh, just what you don't need. I was actually up men against him, and he just gets that, and now he gets to fucking hit my claw guy, probably. Man, I fucking hate rocks. Fucking hate rocks. Ah, the good old foul appearance. He re-rolled it. Re-rolled the foul appearance. What an absolute fucking madman. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? That's fucking crazy. What a crazy fucking move. Why would you re-roll that? I just don't get it. I don't get some of these moves that people make. Like, he, he did that one turn. You know, almost perfectly. And then he does that. And it's like... Crazy, isn't it? How is that the same? How is that the same person? Doesn't make any. It doesn't look like anything to me. the pow now though or at least a push got to protect my um now men's a bit haven't I don't really want him to just get smashed down but on the other hand it it does free up his skins well, he's 75% and knocked me down though so I'm really better off just dodging Saurus, by the way, Vorkas. Saurus. The plural of Saurus is Saurus. Um, and now. Oh shit, Ducky Fag off. And now I'm men down. Crazy, isn't it? That, that's the crazy thing with all those KOs. <laughs> now, now I'm the guy men down thanks to a fucking rock and a random. and a random fucking thing. Run, run door removal. G 
TFI, but he's a madman. He's an absolute fucking madman. He is an absolute madman. Yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack. You need to um you need to just like activate them as little as possible. Or if you've got a crap team like humans or Nurgle, make as many three dice mighty blow blocks as you can. Yeah, I'd definitely make I'd definitely make um I'd definitely make big guys better. I'm all for making big guys better. Elves would get the most advantage out of improved big guys. I, I would I would remove the tree man from uh, <laughs> wood elves because I think they'd be too good. And again, no one gives a fuck about elves. Funny, isn't it? He's playing this out pretty well, to be honest. I think. Playing his players up unbelievably after the first half. I'll just remove the tree, man. Wood elves are overpowered. As close to overpowered as anything is. I think I don't whiz here because if he scores next turn, I'm happy with that. Yeah, elves have always been overpowered, no one gives a fuck. It's crazy. Oh, he's, got, he's got break tackle, hasn't he? Yeah, you might have to take the uh, you might have to take the rat ogre off um, off off Skaven as well. If if you made big guys good. I just blitz him and then protect. Two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna drop him back actually. This should put enough pressure on him to score, shouldn't it, I think. Hopefully. And at least put me in a better position for a wizard. Thing is though, Maggie Arcan, just there's no need to defend things because it's the way they are now, you know. In the old days, anybody except Undead could roster, as in have him on their team, has up have up to four on their team, Morgan Thorks for 190 k each. Now obviously that's outrageous. That's that's clearly ridiculous. But in those days Morgan Thorg was just an ogre, 
That was that was the stats of an ogre. And if you wanted an ogre on your team, you got Morgan Thorg for 190k. Which, you know, nowadays nobody would defend that, would they? If you if you if you said, Alright guys, I've thought of a positional that everyone except Undead can have, it's 190k. He can't earn star player points, but he's six six three ten. Block mighty blow. Fix goal, you'd be like, fuck off. That's ridiculous. So, um, so you know, um, I'm sure there's a middle ground between how bad they are now and how ridiculously good they were in the old days. My guy doesn't come back. Does his seventh KO come back? No, good. He's on nine. Nine versus So, I could just claw on the line, but I think I do want to hit and run this guy. Should have thought more about diagonal blocks there. I couldn't do it at first because of the crocs ago, but I could have made um, diagonal blocks there if I'd thought about it for a little bit. Right, first things first, let's protect the ball a little bit. I think locking them this way is okay actually. Blitz him if I don't knock him down. My like God. Wow, this claw has had a good, a good day, a good day at the office for the claw guy. Kind of sucked wasting my blitz a little bit, but. On the other hand, four fingers and a thumb. No need for a re-roll, is there? 
because his agility falls out. No, I don't have a bribe. Oh, I do have a bribe. Oh, shit, yeah, it was... Fuck, it was, um... It was... Yeah, it was... I had a bribe last game, Eric Bama, but I didn't buy a bribe. I got it from the, um... Yeah, kickoff event. Thank you for reminding me. Very good. Um, Corey's underpowered. Um... Yeah, by itself, Corey's underpowered, yeah. Yeah, I should have got a cheeky foul in there with the, um, with the, uh, yeah, get the ref, that's the one. Yeah, thank you, Eric, behind me, yeah. Um, yeah, so I probably should have got a cheeky foul in there, somehow. No, I'm not going to try to score with the Warrior, um, Overlordy, because, um, it's 1-1. One, one. If I was 1-0 up, I would try, maybe, um, but even then, yeah, I think I've got one on five. I've got one on five, so I could, or him. Um, I'd probably get more out of getting piling on than blocking a warrior, to be honest. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that when I'm when it's one one. Oh God, warpstone troll is unbelievable. I think I should probably go for the uh, two D on the crocs here, shouldn't I? Just because it's easier to knock him down. And he's a strength 5 badass. Push forward here a bit now, can't I? Gee, if I had to follow the crocs, might as well, since I've got the bribe. Didn't lose too much by going for that, did I? But was Mr. Nice strikes again. <laughs> Obviously, this was sentencing him to an almost certain knockdown, wasn't it? But basing the frenzy guy. But um, it's worth taking him out for a turn, I think. Second double on a block guard, dark elf line, or probably his dodge. Pedro Jack, that's why I like to take Mighty Blow on the Dark Elf Linos, because if they double again, they don't get a lot of value out of normal so much, whereas they can get, um, if you take Mighty Blow first, you're piling on, but you don't really want two doubles if you take guard. Should be able to turn the corner next turn, shouldn't I, with those two removals? It's pretty easy when you fucking claw mighty blow actually fucking removes people, isn't it?
Oh, he's making the old uh, break tackle blitz and basing the ball. Holy shit. But, I mean, if he bases the ball, he can be served. So he can't really base the ball, can he? No, he's got GFI, not good stuff. That's the thing about grab, isn't it? It's like, sure, it's kind of all right, but it's just, does it really matter? I don't think so. No, I did that wrong. <laughs> no, I've got to hit him this way. If I'd, I could have blitzed him into another block, couldn't I? If I'd been in a different place. He's got skin, so I've got to be a little bit cautious, haven't I, here? Frenzy can't hit me. He'd have two dodges to do. Not as good as I would have liked. But still, over halfway with three turns is good, and a wizard. Yeah, exactly. That's it's just the opportunity cost. If grab was like a normal skill, um, or like an agility skill, or I don't know, agility skills are probably the worst, aren't they? If you could give grab to your skings, it would probably be not so bad. But it's like, it it's not guard. That's the thing, is it? It's it's not guard. Well, grab is okay on a tree because of root, and also they've already got stand firm. And they can't take block like they own because they only get strength. Like I take grab on a mummy after guard and stand firm. But the thing is, grab is okay on a tree as well, as well because they can set up one turns. Um, because they've got the you know they've got the fucking wood elf catchers on the same team. So, um, but it's still. Like having one on it on a developed team for a one turn is is pretty decent, I guess. But still, it's just a lot of. It's the opportunity cost, isn't it? That's the thing. Strength skills are so fucking good. But giving one up for grab. Is um is a hard sell basically. I'm so much happier when my claw mighty blow guy's breaking arm every turn. Instead of just never fucking knocking anybody down because his whole team had dodge. Spend 2 minutes 30 to open your turn with a one dice, sir.
mean to be fair he is down to eight players so probably wasn't much better than that he could have done Yeah, that's true, that's true, okay, no, that is true. But I mean, it's rare that your grab player is going to be in a position to serve somebody, isn't it? Thank you, Viking of Mars. Yeah. Right, so the claws here, isn't he? Um, I think I can push a little bit this turn. Can't get the guard in to here, which sucks. But I think I've got to make this 2D without block first. Guard him. Randor stun. Because this lets a 3D in under further 3D, doesn't it? What an asshole! <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. I don't really want him to come around the backside, do I? Which he might be able to do. That stun is really, really helpful, though, isn't it? I don't really want to do one dice. I mean, to be fair, six of the six of them didn't have block, but um, I really wanted to get him with a three dice with block. Can always use my wizard to um, force the score as well, can't in the last turn. Shit, he's done pretty well here, I think. That was a little bit unlucky, wasn't it? Well, on the other hand, if he got the fat, if he if he got the push, he'd been a bit fucked. So it was a bit greedy, but good. Six-man fireball in the turn. It would have been funny, wouldn't it? <sighs> right. So I can blitz here, but he's got sidestep and diamond tackle. So I probably don't want to. 
I probably want to blitz him and then move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move him in here or something. Base him in there. And knock him down. Okay, don't knock him down. I really want this pal now, don't I? Gotta roll it. Shit. Surprisingly bad. Yeah, it's a bad play, Maggie. I can. You, you nailed it. You nailed it. That was a bad play. He could one turn me if I scored on turn six, if I scored if I scored that turn he could have one turned. He's always he's already displayed his ability to do so. Now he has an agility four sidestepper um, to do it. And if I didn't power him, or even if I did power him, he would have sidestepped to here. So unless I removed him, I wouldn't have been able to get through. And I've got the wizard next turn to force it. No, you're wrong, Maggie. Yeah, I can. Blitzing with a ball carry would have been horrific. Because then if I get a push, I'm stuck on him. He's just going to base me with a lot of players, but I can chain, chain myself out. What's not GG as well? He's already shown. You, he knows how to do one turn. He made all the pushes for it last time, didn't he? He just failed the pick up. But just basing our screening here isn't going to be good enough for him, really, because I've got the Blitz and the Wizard to force through the score. The left skink, I would have had to dodge. There was no, that would have been crazy. I would have been, there was a, he had a, his guy, oh, was his guy here? Or here. I would have had to power him, then a push means I've, a push means I'm fucked. You can't, you can't, you can't rely on a pal. I rolled six dice at him and didn't pal him. If I get a push, I can't dodge through, can I? That would have been suicide. Then he easily gets a one dice next turn as well. I would have had no support. Terrible play. So there's your answer. If I don't, if I don't whiz him, it's going to be tough, though. What was it? The skink that was there. No, I think it was definitely the wrong play. And even if I score, he can one turn. So I think it was definitely the wrong play. I need this wizard though. I know I can block him now. So it's it's not so bad. 
if I don't get the whiz. But obviously, I really hope the whiz works. I could have blocked him there on two dice, but I'll, I didn't want to risk um, pushing him in here and letting him free up other stuff. Imagine if this was a break tackle, he could have just two plus out and got another guy on the ball. But instead, he's got fucking grab. Pushes him somewhere, he could have pushed him anywhere. G fucking G. Right. I mean, I have to bolt this guy, that's not even a choice. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck off. That was your three dice with a ball anyway, wouldn't it work? Oh, well, that was nice of him, wasn't it? That was fucking nice of him. Give me another three dice on him with block. Holy shit. What, what a bad sidestep. What an absolutely terrible sidestep that was. <laughs> so now, one, two, three, get a push, four, five, six, seven, GFI. So I'd rather block him without block, wouldn't I? I think. Although this would be a three dice. The chance of powering him isn't that good. And then there'd be a one in 36. This is a one in 81. I could have blitzed him with him maybe. Fuck. Right, one in 81. Good. About fucking time I passed something. I could have done that anyway. One, two... Three, four. No, I couldn't have done it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could have done it. I could have done the blitz with him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, shit, I could have just blitzed. I could have just blitzed the skink. I didn't. I didn't realise that I didn't have the movement. I just miscounted. I can still blitz him because it's only a triple skull. It's only a sextuple skill. Sextuple skull that hurts me, isn't it? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm still going to blitz this king. So that was a misplay there. Definite misplay, but only because I miscounted. Best Fargo. Simply the best Fargo. He did all right, like, to be fair. He, he, it's just he was, I think he was too passive on defense. But then it was hard for him because I made the removal turn one, didn't I? Which, um, you know, and I had Claw Mighty Blow, which I protected so if I am um, if he had if he had played more aggressively on defense he might have he might have lost harder so it's hard to criticize him for that but I didn't I didn't like his I didn't like elf screening to be honest playing like you know trading attrition blitzers doesn't seem like a winning strategy against claw mighty blow um but yeah I got very lucky with the armor breaks and he did do a, he did have a good one turn attempt so so fair play to him definitely better than de definitely better than the snail guy <laughs> much better than snail guy um right i've already got so i can buy this and um so i could get rid of the rock but i prefer to get rid of the riot and pitch invasion cuz actually quite like get the ref Right, fourteen sixty. Um, Thirteen players. It's still not looking great, but obviously one more Kaz and heal level, two more touchdowns and heal level, and um, I still need to get this fucking Pestigore off the ground, and somehow farm No Gloria touchdowns. If I, I'm getting to the point where if things go well with the Claw Mighty Blow, maybe I can farm a Warrior touchdown. But it's still tough with Nurgle, isn't it? So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.